Hello loyal readers and welcome to Mr. Modtomic's very first video blog entry. Today we are revisiting a Danish modern chair frame that I picked up at an estate sale years ago. Sadly, the frame had been abandoned in the garage and was a complete mess. Worse, it lacked the necessary cushions. Where does one find lounge cushions sans lounge chair? I featured this chair in a blog post back in February of 2012. In that posting you can see the before and after as well as how the chair breaks down. This really was a rescue effort but the chair has such great bones and lines that I just had to take it on. It really deserves to eventually find a forever home and maybe, just maybe after today's post it'll find one soon. I found a bunch of really nice randomly patterned and colored patio chair cushions a while back, but none of them matched and all were the same size, meaning that any use for the back cushion would have to be altered. Just a few days ago, I found another set at the thrift store that both matched and looked like they just might fit without any alteration at all. It took a fair bit of work to extract the frame from the garage this afternoon since, well, it's a crazy mess in there. But I couldn't check the fit of the new cushions by eyeballing the frame from half a garage away. Once out, I realized the bottom cushion fit nearly perfect, but once again, the back cushion is a little tall. Oh well, it'll be an easy fix for someone else. The imperfect fit aside, the chair looks pretty good with these cushions in place and they're comfortable too. Since I paid so ridiculously little for the frame and only had to do a little work to make it presentable and found the cushions at the Goodwill, I will be able to offer this in one of my booth spaces for a bargain. It'll be a good buy for someone who can live with the little imperfections and a great bargain for someone who can fit the cushions properly. Thanks for taking a minute or three to check out this new wrinkle in Mr. Modtomic's blogging experience. I hope you enjoyed it. The music in the background is by Kevin Barry, a local singer-songwriter that I'm not sure is still playing around here anymore. Please feel free to leave a comment letting me know how you feel about this type of post. Unless I get lots of negative feedback, I hope to eventually bring you more posts like this, but eventually of a higher quality. We'll see. Bye for now.